Howdy folks, this is Checkers, back again with another episode of Checkers of the Khajiit Goes to the Elder Scrolls Online Elsewhere. And this time we are here with episode 15, I do believe, and I will turn it over now to Checkers the Khajiit. Okay, so, we need to go to Sansuro Manor, which is probably not very close, so we will call our friend here, and go, we go! Go. Whoa. To find this prefect Kalo, yes? If uh, remembering correctly. And down we go. Out here. Oh, there is another big friend. We go this way. Torch bug. Oh, Euraxia was very evil. Goodness. Such nasty person to do this to Kamira. We will see what kind of nasty person we find in this. Sun Swirl Manor. We are close. Okay. We are close. What are these creatures? Something is unhappy. Oh, you know, always things with teeth. Okay, foolish creatures. Now you will die. Do not cry about it, you made your choice. Okay, we have rune stones, there is some kind of ball with... No, it is, it is ball with teeth, but is already being eaten. Okay, we need to go into sneaky mode. Avoid all the other things with teeth and legs. Here is torch bug. An imperial oh, and here garrison is Tar. housed in a Khajiiti estate. My half sister spent. Prefect Kalo commands a full complement of soldiers, mostly seasoned imperials and not the Nibbanese mercenaries that make up Euraxia's main forces. It's probable that Sorlinia and her assassination squad is here as well, so I advise caution. You think we will have to fight our way in? I prefer to avoid unnecessary bloodshed, of course, but these are enemy forces. We must do what we must to complete our mission. I'll work my way down from the upper levels of the house. You find your own entrance and we'll meet somewhere inside. Okay, this one will meet you inside. Try not to alert the entire garrison to our presence. And keep an eye out for Captain Sorlinia or anything related to Euraxia's final order. We need to determine where the assassination squad plans to strike if we're going to save the Dragon Guard. Tell me more about this Dragon Guard. As I said, the Dragon Guard I knew were the Emperor's protectors. I suspect this has more to do with legends that speak of their role as dragon hunters of old. Ah, idle speculation isn't going to accomplish anything. If I were younger... Age? Is this what's bothering you? I feel the weight of my years, and it gets worse the longer this goes on. In my younger days, I would have already corralled the dragons and banished the necromancers to a forgotten plane of oblivion. Enough of this. I'll meet you inside. Okay, Tarn. Believe it or not, I understand. Can we see over a wall? Is there someone protecting this friend here? Well, not anymore. Okay, so there is that. We need to go over there. Is over there inside or outside? Inside, okay. Well, good to know. Oh, here is 
Butterfly, we get. Okay. Unlock intermediate. Okay, we give it whirl. Okay, we are in. Now, we need to take apart the Euraxians. How about something pound on you? There you go. Feel better? What we have? Captain Salinia's instructions. By order of Queen Euraxia, the garrison previously commanded by Prefect Kalo is now under my control. Due to his refusal to follow orders handed down to me directly from Queen Euraxia, Prefect Kalo has been found guilty of treason and imprisoned for his insubordination. Effective immediately, all Cygnus Irregulars are to support the efforts of the Iraxian troops under my command. Due to this development, the doors to the manor, well, doesn't matter. Things and stuff. Maybe you can pause journey to redress. This one cannot. Okay. Well, time to break more of them. We'll break this one. And this one. Sometimes experience with the Dark Brotherhood is very handy. Yes, it's very impressive house, no? Good night. Okay. Well, not sure how we will deal with this one with fence in the way, but we'll find out if we can. Very good. Where there is a blade of woe, there is a way. What do we have here? Letter for Vittoria. Vittoria, Selenia's assassins got me in the gut. Found a place to hide, but don't have long. Check the wall, hid the key in the bucket. Unlock cellar door in the stables. That's your way to Kalo and the rest of the irregulars. I always loved you. Uh, found a place to hide. No, I checked the well. Oh, hid the key in the bucket. Okay, well. Computer ring. What you have? Nothing. Okay, wait, wait, wait. No. Check the well. Where is the well? This is... this is a well? No. Not a well. Some kind of box. Okay, well, we have key one way or other. What? That will do. Okay. We have key... wonder where... where is the... oh... The, no, that is the blacksmith. Not sure where the well is. Oh, here! Okay. We... Go here. It looks like these people have not come back yet. Well, one has. Okay, Sansoro Manor. We go down to cellar. Now, could you join me? Oh, let's talk. Hey, Tarn. We need to speak quickly. I doubt I'll remain undiscovered for very long. You really like to show off magic, no? This projection, a simple spell. Nothing to it, really. But that's not what I want to discuss. I'm hiding in an empty servant's quarters at the moment. I discovered that Prefect Kalo is no longer in charge here. In fact, he's been arrested. Why would the Iraxians arrest one of their own officers? That's the thing. Prefect Kalo isn't really one of the Euraxians. His cohort of Imperials accompanied my half-sister into Rimen, but he's been a vocal opponent of her coup and subsequent claim of rulership. Apparently, he refused another order. Okay, well, where are they holding Prefect Kalo? Kalo's probably being held in one of the lower levels. See if you can find him. He should be able to tell us more about the Dragon Guard and Solinia's orders. Wait a moment. I'm about to have company. I'll find my way to you as soon as I can. <laughs>
Okay, this one will try to find Prefect Kayla. Okay. Well, there are Euroxians, yes. Bookshelf. Trunk is empty. Okay, well, then we will go. Dresser, Obsidian. Trunk here has lockpick. You have bad day. But on plus side, this last bad day you will ever have. Here is some rice. Okay, I think maybe we need to go this way. So much to do, so little. This is true. So many Iraxians to burn. So little time to burn them in. Oh. Okay. One moment. These these are annoying me. Okay, we are done laughing now? Yes? Probably. What is this? It's very glittery. Soul gem. Oh, we'll take. Okay, some kind of cuirass. Sure, why not? We'll take this too. Whatever else you have here and behind the register. Cauldron. All right, Jarboa. Okay, we go, we go. Jarboa is trying to keep me on task here. What do we have here? Anything fun? Bitter green, mint, empty bottle, ladder going up. Okay, Jerboa. We are we are here somewhere. Don't know where. Dresser has maple ice stuff, bookshelf has book. Interesting. You're not one of Euraxia's mercenaries. Okay, Prefect Kalo? I'm Prefect Kalo, commander of the Cygnus Irregulars. And you're that outsider working with the Khajiiti militia. I expected you hours ago. Well, let's not dawdle. You have an assassination squad to stop, I assume, so if you'd open my cell... How do you know who this one is? It's elementary. I pay attention to every significant event that occurs in the region comes with my job description. I have agents, spies, and informers from Riverhold to Rimen. The dossier on you could choke a Wamasu. Now, about this door? First you tell this one why they locked you in behind that door. I'm an Imperial without an Emperor. My cohort was assigned to accompany Euraxia on a fact-finding mission. She turned it into a conquest. I tried to temper her more violent tendencies, but her mercenaries outnumber my legionaries by a wide margin. So, why lock you up now? I refuse to direct order. Wouldn't give Solinia my soldiers or my file on the last Dragon Guard. So, here I am. How about this? You can find a copy of the report in my office. If the information it contains helps you, then come back and set me free. You seem unusually willing to cooperate with an ally of the rightful Kajiti Queen. I'm a reasonable man. I have no great love for this land, but neither do I want to see it destroyed. Dragons were the last straw. In other words, this is me making a stand. You can find a copy of the Dragon Guard report in my office upstairs. Tell me about this Captain Selenia. She burst into my office with orders from Euraxia, demanded I provide soldiers to support her assassination squad, then commanded that I turn over my file on this so-called last Dragon Guard. I politely refused both requests, and she had me arrested. What's an assassination squad? An elite unit of mercenaries. They're rabid dogs that Euraxia points at her enemies. They like to kill, and they're extremely good at it. With the urging of the dragons, she pointed them at their current target, the so-called last Dragon Guard. So, that was Euraxia's final order. She issued it right before I killed her. Well, that puts a new spin on the situation. Solenia took my file. Then she and her soldiers went to assassinate this supposed last dragon guard to appease Euraxia's dragon allies. There's a copy of the file in my office, but I suggest you hurry. So Euraxia was never sent here to conquer Rimen. Conquer Rimen? 
Euraxia was sent on Imperial business to a province that owed us fealty. There was no reason to conquer a place we historically controlled. No. She decided to make her own play for power while Emperor Varen was otherwise engaged. And you went along with this? It was complicated. Look, our quick visit turned into an invasion. Euraxia contracted an army of Nibbanese mercenaries to back her up. And then the Emperor disappeared and his empire collapsed. We were stuck here without orders or assistance. And what can you tell this one about the Dragon Guard? Not much. I never got around to reviewing the report. You can read it yourself in my office. For some reason, this rumor of a last Dragon Guard inspired Euraxia's ire. Maybe because the legends say they were once renowned dragon hunters? Okay, this one will go find the report. In your office, this one understands. Well, that was not exactly what this one had in mind. If this one were an office, where would, would this one hide? Well, here is wardrobe. We'll take more things to search. Whoa, some kind of thing. Barbaric style. Uh, okay. Why? Okay. There we go. Game. Bookshelf. Bookshelf. Lockpick. Cabinet is empty. Dresser has some kind of bog iron ale. Wardrobe, star metal, and lockpick. Okay. Some kind of breaches. Desk is empty. Bookshelf. Bookshelf. Cabinet is empty. Cabinet has small game. And here is Dragon Guard report. Duplicate copy of a report prepared by Centurion Phalaxia, intelligence officer assigned to the Cygnus Irregulars. We began looking into reports of a surviving member of the disgraced and disbanded Dragon Guard hiding in the wilderness of Northern Elsewhere. First, in regards to Ryarxia Tarn's interest, contacts in Rimen inform us that she has ordered a thorough search of the Royal Archives to turn up every scrap of information the Khajiit have gathered on the subject. It seems that the legend pertaining to the Order's ancient origins as dragon hunters of renown has caught her imagination. Whether this is because the dragons are also interested in the matter, we have yet to ascertain. Consulting with moon singers had turned up contradictory information. One keeper of stories claims that an entire dragon guard legion has been hiding in the scar since the dragons disappeared in the ancient past. Another tells me that a single caretaker remains guarding the secrets of the Ancient Order in a hidden sanctuary. Contacts in the Mages Guild confirmed that records kept by the Magisters acknowledge that the Dragon Guard do trace their practices to those of the Akaviri Dragon Hunters of old, and while most of the Order gave up those traditions after the dragons disappeared to become guardians of the Emperors, some documents claim that a small number continued to train in the old ways to keep the knowledge of dragon fighting alive in the event of their return. Here's a promising lead. A contact at the Stitches claims to have visited a hidden Akaviri shrine deep in the western scar. Stories told over drinks claim the place is haunted and studded with deadly traps. Some also indicate that a single dragon guard, the last surviving member of the Order they claim, maintains the shrine and waits for the day when the Order will once more be needed. Okay, that is our document. Find Abnor Tarn. I see well, you found the report. Now we can continue our conversation without being separated by those inconvenient bars. Whoops. Okay. So many different Prefect universes. Halo. I presume he surrendered without a fight. Okay, now we talk to Kalo. Sure. Don't look so shocked. My irregulars are very good at what they do. It was simple enough for them to sneak in and set me free. Now, what did you learn from the report? Anything that will help us stop Captain Selenia and her assassination squad? Us? Why would you want to help this... stop this assassination of the Dragon Guard? As I said, 
we were never willing participants in Euraxia's conquest of Northern Elsewhere. My irregulars did as little as possible to advance her agenda, and we worked to sabotage it as often as not. Besides, have you forgotten about the dragons? What about the dragons? The dragons won't stop after they kill or subjugate the Khajiit. We're in as much danger as everyone else. If Lord Garesh Ri pardons my soldiers, we'll help fight the dragons. But we're going to need the Dragon Guard. Do you know where he is? The report suggests the last Dragon Guard is hiding in an Akaviri shrine in the Scar. Grand Chancellor, I propose that you get Garesh Ri to pardon the Cygnus Irregulars so we can form an alliance. An alliance? Interesting. Comrades would be helpful in the battles to come. I'll return to Rimen, plead Kalo's case, and send someone to help you. Meanwhile, I suggest you start your search for the shrine at the Stitches. Okay, we go to Stitches. After we check bookcases. And figure out where door. Door is up. Okay, we go. Cabinet has beets and carrots and oh oh we need to sneak probably not sure what we will find here Euraxians still you see irregulars are not so good yet perhaps these people are all over the place. Well, it's no problem, but... Maybe, maybe it's easier way out. Oh, easier way out is up there. Okay. Can do this without having to go through every last Euraxian. Perhaps. No, no. This one at least we'll have to go through. Okay. You make choice. There we go. Now we go to stitches. Someone is very excited up there. We call friend. So many jackals. Okay. This way. There is wagon. Dune Ripper. Camel. Hello, Camel. Oh, something very exciting goes there. Though Camel is not very excited by this. Scar. Oh, is this my where we met Vastari? Yes. It's exactly where we met Vastari. Looks like dead end. Oh, 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 what is this? Not sure. Ok, 
Okay, we are still going. Don't, don't try it, Harpy. Dire Wolf, Jude. Butterfly, torch bug. Okay, we go. What is that? Griffon. Griffon's eating Dune Ripper. You do you, Griffons. Okay, sure, you will catch this one. Keep trying. Oh! Sky Shark. Okay, now we have that. We have to go up somehow. This looks like a way up. Maybe? Yes? Okay, fine. Everybody gather up. You all feel better now? Good, good. Glad to hear it. Okay. Where do we go? Up above. Yes, we got that. But how we get up above? This is something different. Must be quick to take from Khajiit. Okay, maybe we take friend. Terror board. More terror boards. Following ghost camel. Like they do. So many things with lighting up. What, 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 what do we see here? Something up there. Something right... Oh! Samarak! Tarn sent Samarak to assist you against the Euraxian officer Saulinia and her assassins. The locals say that a group matching their description passed through here a short time ago. Tarn explained that we seek a hidden Akaviri shrine. Saulinia has orders to kill someone they believe is the last Dragon Guard. Saulinia. The assassin who murdered King Hemakar and Queen Numara. Zamarak heard that name often on the day of Euraxia's coup. Perhaps this one can finally get justice for the royal family. Did you face Captain Salinia back then? No. Zamarak was guarding Kamira that day. We were far from the palace. Anyway, this one learned that the local crime lord provided Saulinia with guides who know the scar well. We must hurry if we hope to catch them. Okay, we go stop assassination squad, yes? The scar can be a treacherous place, Five Claw, even without the addition of a Nibbanese assassination squad. We need to hurry. But we should also proceed with caution. Tell this one about your time as King Claw. King Hamakar saw something in Zamarak. He specifically requested this one during a visit to the Desert Wind. Zamarak set aside his studies and devotions to become the King's Claw. I pledged my life to keep the royal family safe. But you weren't able to stop Iraxia from killing the family. No. Kamira wanted to visit the Desert Wind Adeptorium. 
This one was tasked to guard her. So, Zamorak was not in the palace when Euraxia and her troops arrived. They were welcomed as emissaries of the Emperor. But they were lions about to pounce. At least you were able to get Chimera to safety. A small success in an avalanche of failure. Guilt consumed Zamorak because he lived and the royal family died. So this one exiled himself from the land he loved and traveled the world. This one sought... What? Peace. Forgiveness. Something. What should this one know before we enter Scar? The Scar was carved across the face of Anequina in the ancient past. Some say Kunzari is responsible. Others, that Alkosh himself marked the land with his claws. Things live in the deepest cracks and crevices that we would do well to avoid. Why did Tarn send you to help this one? Truthfully, Zamarak almost refused when Tarn gave the order. This one has only just reclaimed the mantle of King's Claw and was reluctant to leave Queen Kamira's side. But you needed help, and Zamarak was best suited to aid you in this endeavor. Did Tarn present Prefect Kalo to Kamira? Yes, but Zamarak isn't sure if anything good will come of their meeting. When this one departed, Queen Kamira and Lord Gareshri were engaged in a heated discussion with Tarn over the risks and benefits of trusting an Imperial. Interesting. Okay, we go. We go, but for the moment, we will pause here with Zamarak and we'll pick up next time in next journey. For the moment, this one would like to thank you for joining us on our journey. Hope you found it entertaining and maybe even just a little bit informative. Would like to invite you to subscribe to Checkers the Human and thank you kindly if you are already subscribed to him. Would also like to invite you to like and to share if you so desire most of all, though, would like to ask you to please, please take care.